Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Man, it is 8 a.m. I'm getting ready to walk into the gym. And, uh, you know, I kind of just got hit in the head this morning, hit in the heart. Like, you know, a couple people the last couple of days, I wear this big old 60 for me on my hat and I wear it on my shirt and, you know, kind of post it with everything it is that I do. And it's funny. I don't know if it's funny, but kind of interesting, I guess, how... 60 for me has evolved right so if you don't know the story like here it is let's take a couple minutes to kind of put it out there right so i got out of the navy in 2015 i was in great shape i walked away from the navy with a uh you know a highly advanced on my prt i was 171 pounds doing very well right getting out of the navy going to do a different job going to do a civilian job for the first time in really 17 years, right? So when I separated from the Navy, right, some things happened and uh, some things took place that really I wasn't aware of. And it was happening with me. I was in a new work environment. I was dealing with a different kind of culture. I was dealing with a different kind of, uh, I guess, mentality. Right, I was working with a different population. I was constantly eating. I was running 17 softball teams. I was doing a lot that I even at the time wasn't paying attention to. And I started to take a mental spiral down a path that I hadn't been in a really, really long time. And I started eating and I started putting on weight and 170 turned into 180 and 180 turned into 190 and 190 turned into 200 and 200 turned into 210 and by 2020 good morning jay by 2020 i was 210 pounds miserable right like i was smiling i was working i was doing what i needed to do i was raking fields i was running softball teams i was teaching social studies i was running tournaments and all of that stuff that i was doing was just helping others and doing other things and i wasn't paying attention to what i was going through right because you know when you become a navy chief they say i i i you don't say i i i it's not about i right and i believe in that right the world is about taking care of others and bringing others up where you are but the part that people miss when they talk about helping others is the fact that you are ill-equipped to help others if you are not capable yourself Right? I talk about being your best self, 60 for me, 60 minutes a day where you can break away from everything and work on you, right? So 2019, I'm 220 pounds. And again, I'm not even aware of it. I'm not even aware of it. 210 pounds and I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm announcing on the middle school football games. I'm changing kids' lives in a classroom. I'm, you know, working on a business with tournaments that's doing well and helping kids on the softball field and everything's going great. My relationship is doing okay. My daughter's doing well. My son is okay at the time. You know, and then bring around 2020. I just won a state championship at the high school level in 2019. We were setting ourselves up to win another one and then COVID. And just before COVID, boom, bro. Boom, a head-on collision at 45, 50 miles an hour driving home from a season opener win on February of 2020. I'm doing 45 miles an hour in my open lane with a green light and some guy runs the red light makes an illegal left hand turn right boom that's it knocks me out you know and i'm sitting there and then 15 days later we're shut down covid tournaments are shut down softball shut down everything's just now i'm in pain i'm in a bad wreck my legs bleeding my mind's turning morning kurt my legs bleeding, my mind's turning, you know? March 2020, April 2020, can't leave the house, can't do anything. 
right? Can't do anything. So literally, man, I'm 210 pounds. I'm sitting on the couch. My business is shut down, right? I had just left the school, so I had nothing there, right? My wife is now at home. Schools are shut down. Like we got nothing to do but sit there and I'm sitting there and I'm looking and boom. Finally, I'm like, what is going on in my life, bro? Where am I at? Look at you. You're a mess. You're a hot mess. You're not a good example for your children. You're not a good example for your wife. You're, you're just, you're working hard. You're moving positive in the wrong direction. And that's what I was doing, right? And that's what I was doing. So literally in a Forrest Gump moment, I got up and I started running, right? This was about June of 2020 and I just started, you can go back and check it. Right? Just June about 2020, I started just, I, I was like, ah, I can't take it no more. I'm done. It's a wrap. It's over. I no longer can be this guy sliding down a hill. I no longer can look at my family out of shape, out of mental shape, out of focus, out of anything. So I made it a constant focus to get better. Right? So June, I just started going hitting my trail, boom, my first mile, my first mile, I can remember it in June of 2020, after being out of the Navy for four and a half years was over 15, 16 minutes. I was doing a mile and a half and 11 and a half just four years earlier. I'd let myself slide so bad. So anyways, June of 2020, I'm, I'm I'm in it. I'm back in it. The mindset, the brain has now found itself. It's now working. It's now moving itself forward, right? And that was it, right? And July, August, right? And then one day I just said, hey, yo, hey, I got 60 minutes in today. And I made it a focus that in my brain, every single day I had to get 60 minutes a day for me. It was mandatory. It was a non-negotiable. And it started creating habit and it started building processes and it started letting me focus on where I needed to go and where my deficiencies were. Because see, too often we want to tell people, hey, how do you get better? This is what you do. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why can't you clean your room? Why can't you do this? Why can't you just be better? And we never, ever look in a mirror and see our own reflection. We never look in a mirror and see our own reflection. We never wanna look at ourselves and say, how can we get better? How can we be a better father? How can we be a better leader? How can we be a better husband? How can, how, how? The only way to do that is to work on yourself, right? And it's impossible to just do that all the time. So you focus one, one hour a day, 4% of your day, 4% of your week, 4% of your life. You are worth 4% of your own life. Right, so I started doing that and it was, you know, July and August and then, you know, I started saying, hey, I'm running 60 minutes a day. I got my 60 in today, got my 60 in today. You know, and then I'm like, oh, I'm a, I'm a hashtag guy, hashtag 60 today, hashtag 60. And then it turned into hashtag 60 for me. And then after doing it for about a year, somebody came up to me and said, hey, hey, you fella, little guy. Hey, you, you, come here for a second. And I'm like, what's up, man? How you doing? And he says to me, he says, you know, you've been, you've been posting this stuff and it's absolutely changed my life. Say it again, fella. You say what? He said, yeah, you've been posting this stuff and it's absolutely changed my life. And I'm like, wow. And, and you know, what a humbling moment. Right? What a humbling moment for someone else to be able to say to you what you're doing and you don't even know again that you're doing it at the time is absolutely changing what I'm doing. Hold on. That's revolutionary. Right? What you're doing is changing what I'm doing. So, you know, I kind of took that moment and was like, wow, okay. That was pretty powerful. It was a good moment. One of them right angles, right? It was a moment where, okay, 
now let's continue that. And I did, and it helped me be even more focused, and it helped me be even more ready, and it helped me continue to push. Good morning, sir, how you doing? I'm good, man. Just getting in, getting in a little morning talk on my live this morning right, while I'm getting ready to head into the gym. Hell yeah, it's a good time for it. That's it, man, I hope you have a great day. Thank you, sir. Hey, hey, thank you. You too. Look at that. He said, looking good. See, that's just people being nice to each other, right? That's just people being nice to each other, man. And that's what it's all about, right? So over the last now four and a half years, you know, the hashtag 60 for me has just become a mantra and it's turned from, from where it was initially all about physical fitness, right? All about getting better, all about being there. And now for me, it has turned into, you know, better mind. I'm reading more. I'm studying more. I'm going to more seminars. I'm learning from other people. I'm connecting with other people, right? And, and I'm elevating my mind game, right? I'm learning more business stuff. I'm growing businesses and I'm talking to more people. I'm, I'm working with young female athletes, 14 to 18 years old and helping them now with their mindset. Right, I'm, I'm hiring employees and expanding to where by the end of this year, we'll be running 40, 50 employees in one county. It's crazy what can happen in your life if you just make a, just focus on one hour a day. This is what I'm doing today. This is how I'm getting better today. This is the path that I'm taking today. And then the other 23 hours, come on, man. Now you go take care of the world. Now you become a better father because you've worked on it. Now you become a better husband because you've put intentional time, intentional time. You have, sometimes you have to schedule time to make sure that that person knows that they are the only person in your life. Right, so you become a better husband. You become a better leader because you go to leadership courses. Right, because you talk to other leaders, because you're in rooms with men and women that have been generating business for others and are teaching you now, and you're also teaching them. You're elevating every single part. You become a better coach because you've seen the process from start to finish, and you know what the end result is, and you now know how to navigate that so that more people have a better finish and can handle what they're doing because you decided that you were gonna learn those things on your own and get better. And you internally got better physically, emotionally, mentally, right? You got the 60, you got it figured out. So that is all how it started, right? I mean, listen, I've always been this guy. I've always been a speaker. I've always been a hard charger. I opened my first business at 13 years old, taking my mama's food stamps to Walgreens, buying Snickers and Blow Pops and selling them to the school kids in school. I would turn $40 in food stamps into $100 in cash and help my mother pay the rent. I was doing that at 13 years old, so I've always been this, right? But we have loss, man. You hit that mountaintop and then it's a, it's a damn avalanche, right? And you slide down and you're like, now, now here I am at the bottom. Right, so how do you prolong the time at the top? You bring others with you, right? Because when you're at the top by yourself, it's a lonely, lonely view. And there's no stability and eventually you seek out something else anyway. So the journey now is to teach. It's always been to teach and to coach. But now it's refined, it's focused. So, you know, if you were wondering, why does that guy wear that? What is that? Well, there it is. And I'll probably wear it until the day that I die in some way, shape, or form because it's literally revolutionized my life. You know, I'm not saying that I won't ever hit the bottom again, but I'm going to work every single day like it's day one so that I, I, I prolong the end down to the bottom, right? It'll come again. Rest assured, whether it be physically at the bottom, emotionally at the bottom, financially at the bottom, no one stays at the top in all facets forever. Eventually, 
you do come down and you have to find a way to slow that, support yourself and come back up. And that comes with good people and good processes and good systems and good support and taking care of yourself so that when it happens, you're a little bit more prepared. You're a little bit more ready. You're a little bit more able. Oh, well, man, I'm, it's a busy Saturday. May the 4th be with you. Happy birthday to my boy Austin. If he watches it, makes it this far into it. Hope you have a great day, sir. Uh, you know, it's going to be a great weekend. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo for the taco guy. That's a great day. We're going to have some great things going on. Uh, but wild, man, what a wild world to live in where you can wake up and literally be anybody you want to be. You can literally do anything you want to do. You can wear a hat that says 60 for me and an anchor on your chest and you can support people and you can go live on a video and if one person watches you and it changes somebody, great. And if you get to the point where 10 million people are watching you, then you're just changing more people. It's a world where you can do whatever you want. It's a world where limitations are non-existent. It's a world where a 13 year old kid, right? Who's got absolutely nothing can turn into a 44 year old man who maybe gets to change the world or two, right? It's a world where you can go up and down in peaks and valleys and bring people with you and learn and, and, and collaborate and do all of these things. Or it's a world where you can sit in the background and watch, right? It's a world where you can build relationships and always lead with, with a good thing, right? And communicate things that need to be worked on in a manner that shows respect, right? That's what the world really is missing. Man, 60 minutes a day, right? You get to get up, you get to focus on you. And it doesn't matter where it happens. It can happen in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Right now it's 8 a.m. I'm getting ready to go get it. Then I got eight deliveries. Then I gotta make nine more caterings, 10 more caterings for tomorrow, right? You gotta stay focused and that focus comes with 4% of your life being okay for you to focus on. Good morning, Lee. Hope you're having a good day communicating with those that you love, those around you, and more importantly, yourself, right? So I hope y'all have a great day. I'm about to go get it. Beautiful Saturday. May the 4th be with you. Tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo. Monday is another beautiful day, a beautiful week for you to be able to attack what it is you're working on. Better you. Better them, better everybody, and that's it. That's how it goes, man. Better you, better them, better everybody around you. So I'm about to go get better. I'm about to go get some of this, get some of that, do some fun, knick-knack, paddywhack, all that good stuff. So, hey, listen, I appreciate y'all every day. Thank you, Dave. Good morning, sir. I hope you have a great day, right? I mean, it's what it is, man. It's community. It's great people doing great things, right? And it's okay for you to pause in your life. It's okay for you to pivot in your life. It's okay for you to make any godforsaken change you want to in your life, as long as it's positive, doesn't hurt anybody, have any negative infliction on other people, right? Cannot infringe, look, I got seagulls hanging out with me. You cannot infringe on others, but you have the right to happiness in whichever way you choose for you. So for me, it's 60 minutes a day, Focusing on my mind, my heart, my body, my physicality, my soul, my business, my leadership. And then another 60 passing it down and then another going and working it out. So I hope y'all have a great day. Hope y'all enjoy your Saturday. Last time. Hoops out.